My name is Joe Wazalewski and I'm a wildlife biologist. The way the state of Florida has pythons regulated, uh, they have to be microchipped, you have to have permits. I keep pythons and I'm authorized to um, collect the biometric data and to microchip these animals. Uh, animals that are legally captured and legally kept, that is. I have a couple Burmese pythons that were caught in the Everglades and I use them for education. As we say, I take them to schools anywhere uh, that's interested in this type of thing. And, and one of the hunters just uh, caught a python that he wants to do education as well, which is good. I mean, edu more education begets more. So the more hunters that we can educate to educate, man, we're going to really reach a lot of people. The state requires is certain uh, biometric data. We're going to do measurements, lengths, weights, uh, and then we're going to insert a microchip. They have to have a, uh, a passive uh, identification device inserted into them. Still 12.1. 12.1 yeah. 12 kilograms, which is 20, this is 25, 26 pounds. Yeah, males have long spurs here to stimulate the female. There's no spurs and the tail is short and squat and it's not going in at all. No, this is definitely a female. This, this is called a pit tag. And this is uh, barcoded. And it, there's no power in here, but the uh, scanner has power and it gives a number. It's a nine digit number that this animal will have. As long as it has this microchip, it will have this particular number. All right, I am ready. Okay, and this is going to be fast because I've done this thousands of times probably. So let's say you find a python somewhere or when uh, the U of F finds a python the first thing we do is scan it to see if it has a chip. 